We could see it coming. Attackers using artificial intelligence to write realistic phishing emails, fake emails, covering up their usual mistakes and red flags. Well, now these emails are coming to an inbox near you. We take a look at a new phishing case that's popped up with signs that AI is the author. This email went out to people at several different schools with this title, Alert, Notice of Potential Exposure to Monkeypox Virus at University. Did it sound like a human wrote it? Oh, absolutely. But Mike Britton at Abnormal Security says no human composed this alert. Instead, his team's tools labeled it as computer generated, written by AI. It looks very much like your typical, like I would expect an email to get from my university health department kind of thing. It says, I hope this email finds you well. I am writing to inform you about a recent incident involving the monkeypox virus at our university. Gone are the telltale spelling, grammar, and writing errors that used to give away the trick, like this awkward phishing email from this spring. Brooke Castillo, founder and CEO of the Life Coach School, has donated some valuable items for Austin Independent School District staff and students in respect of her upcoming top-notch birthday party and Thanksgiving. The following items has been dropped off at one of the best shipping firm in the States. Bad guys have figured out how to fix their spelling. They figured out how to fix their grammar. The new email goes on to say, our primary concern is for the safety and well-being of our community members, and we are taking all the necessary measures to prevent the spread of the virus. Hey man, this looks like something happened at my university. There's some, they're concerned about me. All they want me to do is validate that this, you know, did I come in contact with this person or not? Just click on the employee profile link to see if it's someone you've been close to. Then sign in to what looks like the university portal. Then they've got you. Do we know what the attackers ultimately want? Uh, yeah, they ultimately want credentials. They ultimately want you know, your username and password into your email. From there, it's a treasure trove. They may be able to get to your money through your email and will use you to send out more attacks, making you look like the attacker. I pop your account. I'm able to get into your bank account at some point. I'm able to see who else you email. I'm able to kind of really create kind of this, this list of potential additional attack victims. All of this is easier now with AI. Mike says attackers can ask it to create them an effective message in English or another language. It could be just write me a letter on a health care or on a health scare where I need someone to contact the health department or, you know, something like that. AI systems like ChatGPT and BARD say people should not use them for illegal purposes. Sometimes the AI simply refuses to write illegal things like phishing emails or malware if you ask directly. But there is case after case of people finding ways around the restrictions, using creative questions to trick the AI into giving them what they want. That may leave humans in a tight spot with quick and easy computer-created content that fools us into giving away crucial passwords and money. What to do? So now we need to look at what the email is trying to make us do. Does yes. it want us to log in? Yeah. What is this trying to do? Does it want me to click? Does it want me to take action? What's the intent of the email? If the intent is something like entering your password, clicking on a link, or some other potentially dangerous step, verify it, especially if there's a sense of urgency involved. Verify with info you look up yourself. I've seen people make the same mistake where the bad guy puts a phone number and the person doesn't pay attention and they try to validate or they reply back to the attacker and say, hey, just making sure this is legit. Uh, yes, it's legit, please do it. <laughs> Researchers say AI can not only write emails that sound official, it can make them sound like someone you know, right in their style. So we can't rely on bad grammar and bad spelling to catch every email from now on. I'm Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.